when you log into your ship panel, I mean to your hosting company again, select the hosting you want to use, then scroll down, scroll down, go to it has been a good hosting company. The first thing you need to do is create a database. Just search for DB, select this one, scroll down, this particular one, open it. So you need to create a database, type into this place which says new database, you can put verify. Let me then click on create database, then go back, scroll down, verify, copy it because you want to use that uh, password you can use any password though but i prefer using the same thing click on verify then paste your password paste it again then click on create user then go back so scroll down add user to database this is the database you want and this that's the database this is the user and click on add so you click on all privileges then make changes when it is done then you click on go back so go back so that is for database then click on file manager this is the so this is the public HTML. Let's say you just bought the hosting. So this is where you extract all your file. Then you click on upload. Then you select the file. You can look for it wherever the file is. A file you want to upload uploaded when everything has uploaded and then you go back to your file manager so you go back to your file manager this this is where we upload it then you click on the file then you click on extract this particular extract file that is what you click on okay after extracting the file then you go to your call folder your call folder now you see this file config.php click on edit so this is where you connect your database so that database you did the other time paste it and was it paste it as user paste it as password paste it so your url that is your domain name you paste it here so you can change your name to wherever you want it to be you can put it so this particular area is where you copy your api key from paystack when you create paystack account that's for payment receiving payment and also this is where you put your api key for verification generation so let's let's go to the api key we are using we are using confirm confirm dent so confirm that is our API key we're going to be using. So let's log in to confirm that. Do I still remember my password? As you have logged in right, right now, then you go to this area setting. So this is your API key, you copy it, you go back to your this file, then you paste it here put your customer support here then you can save changes but i'm not saving it because you click on save changes okay after you've done that you successfully install the file so one thing remains that you need to do that is your database there's a file that is the database file let me show you that is what you need to upload firstly let's go to our cpanel again Let's come back here. You search for PHP my admin. PHP my admin. So when you get to PHP my admin. <coughs> so look for the look for its verification. So what you need to do is to import 
import so you're going to select the file that is any file that hand with dot sql in the what's it called in the file i sent to you because i'm going to send a file to you uh that contains everything you need to do to install if you don't have the file already you can just contact me and pay just ten thousand naira to get the file to look for it <coughs> then you go to the folder you extracted your file okay so this is the file you select it so they click on import after you've imported it i'm 100 sure your website will be working immediately very free so type your url then so you see it's working already so the name you use will be here and all other necessary aspects so if you need further configuration maybe you want to change what's it called the logo you can go into your assets image images you can change your logo here to wherever you want it to be thanks for watching if you need the script contact me at 070 3146 8343 070 3146 8343 thank you